another one. Of course, TNT is on TNT Film Festival. Actually, it kicked off yesterday, right? Yes. Yesterday. Now, uh, Jamaica has actually. a notorious reputation for homophobia and violence against gays. The uh, groundbreaking documentary goes beyond the yeah. headlines to look at what life is like for Jamaica's lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. Now, LGBT community and the origins of the uh, country's attitude towards homosexuality. Interviews with gay and lesbian Jamaicans, both on the island and in the uh, diaspora, as well as gay rights activists and prominent Jamaicans form the basis of this brave, important film. Now with me, I have Selena, Selena Blake, director of the movie Taboo Yadis. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome Thanks for to, having me. Welcome to Next 99.1. Love your smile. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us about the film. You are the director. Yes. Tell us about the concept. Well, the concept of the doc documentary Taboo Yadis was to, you know, show Jamaica, um, mm -hmm and also give the audience uh, at, at the end of the day make their decision do they think jamaica is uh, homophobic or not mm -hmm. so i interviewed from folks who are pro con and everywhere in between this controversial issue mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now what where when is it going to be shown it's going to be shown oh um you have the okay it's going to be shown on saturday september 22nd um, at 3 3.30 p.m. at mm -hmm. Movie Town in Port of Spain, Spain. Uh -huh. and Monday the 24th, 11.30 a.m. at UWE uh, Center for Language Learning. Right. Uh, oh, tell us, um, how long is this film? It's an hour and 19 minutes. Wow, so it's, uh, we can <laughs> actually take it in. Now, in terms of the, the storyline of it, you know, okay, give us a little storyline in terms of the, you know, who, who are the, the, the actors? Well, it's not so much actors. It's a documentary. So uh -huh. we talk to real people. It's like me talking right, to you right, about cool. your life, what it's like being a DJ. Mm -hmm. So, so it's I, like interviews. All right. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it's your own experience. It's your mm -hmm. own journey. And so we talk to people in Jamaica who are gay, who are straight, who mm -hmm. are, you know, in between this mm -hmm. um, subject matter. and. Interviews are pretty interesting. You uh, have to see the film. Well, in, in, <laughs> interesting in what we, you know, we get. It. People voice their opinion. They're mm -hmm. not afraid. You know, um, if they believe that gays should be burned, you know, mm -hmm. bond them out, bond them out, fire mm -hmm. bond. You know, we're not into batimanism or homosexuality. Mm -hmm. People are not afraid wow. to express mm -hmm. their their feelings, and you know, I welcome it because. The whole purpose of the documentary is to hopefully, you know, use it as a vehicle for change. Uh -huh. Use it as a vehicle for bringing awareness and understanding because gay Jamaicans, they're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And so we have to reach a place where we can have that dialogue instead of saying, oh, you know, I don't know any gay Jamaicans and if I know them, then I, they would no longer be my friend. So in other words, it, um, um, it's actually you don't want no discrimination towards um, gays? No, I mean, at the end of the day, I would like to see a Jamaica for all people. Uh -huh. Gay, straight, come together, you know, deal with our differences. Mm -hmm. um, sexuality should not be an issue. Your mm -hmm. sexual orientation should not be an issue, uh -huh. you know, for you being fired or, you know, for people not talking to you or, or for your house getting burglarized or for you being killed. Your sexual orientation should not be the main focus because it's what, 10% of your life. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What happens to the other 90%? Now, um, in terms of the, the, the film, well, the, the documentary, how long it took though? To I took a four and a half years. Wow, that's a long time. It's a long time, but you know, funding. I uh -huh. basically funded the film myself. Wow. Took four and a half years, almost two hundred fifty thousand dollars later, and mm. eight credit cards and lots of loans. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something that I felt passionate about. Mm -hmm. You know, after I guess someone I met. Uh, 
four, five years ago, and they said, you know, you people, and I thought, what do you mean, you know, we're not going to Jamaica because you people are hateful and you people kill gays, and I didn't know anything. I didn't know uh -huh. this was going on. Uh -huh. You know, because when I go to Jamaica, I've never had to deal with this issue, so I never thought so, about so, it. So, like, the inspiration came from from there. It, yeah, uh. because then I did some my investigation, and I realized, oh my God, this is really going on. And you know, I get really passionate and 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 pissed off on black and black crime, and we have to come to a place where I may not like what you're saying or what you're into. But it doesn't give me the right to use that as a platform to uh -huh. kill you, to beat you, you know, to marginalize so, you. In other words, we can disagree, but we can move on. There you go. Uh -huh. You know, we, we can agree to disagree. Right. And, and so it's just the violence. Mm -hmm. and, and just to get to a place where, you know, the buggery law, the issue of homosexuality in Jamaica, we will move on to bigger issue like health care, education, safety, programs for young people and all of that because that's where we need to be. Right. Now, um, now, this is your first documentary. No, is it's it? my second. Is it, what, 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 what did you do first? What was the like? first one I did on public housing, Queensbridge, Ron Artis and all of those other um, basketball players. Uh, mm -hmm. So I showed Queensbridge. Public housing in the U.S., you know, people look down on folks who live in public housing. And back in the 30s with Roosevelt, public housing was built as a step up for folks coming, you know, from war. And so, it, you know, it have this stigma of being, oh, you know, only uh, jungle rats or whatever they uh -huh. talk about comes from the projects. But you have your doctors, your lawyers, you have so many great people coming out of public housing. And we don't take the time to see goodness within people. We want to see the bad. And so we look for the bad. And so I show them, you know, especially for the young kids to know that it's not about where you live. It's where you're going. Exactly. How was the uh, transition from doing that film to, to, to Tabu Yani? It was about the same platform because mm -hmm. it, it's highlighting injustice. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, you, you tend to pigeonhole people. You say, okay, because you're this, then you should be ABC. No. No. Where you're from has nothing to do with where you're going. Where you're going. Now, in terms of, like, you have your own website. Um, Taboo Yard, www.tabooyardies, T A B O O Y A R D I E S dot com. <laughs> Say that again. We, we did that from top real slow. <laughs> it's Taboo Yardies. It's T A B O O Y A R D I E S dot com. And of course, it's going to be it's going to be shown in Movie Town. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, going to be give shown us, in Movie Town um, Saturday, September 22nd at 3.30 p.m. and Monday, September 24th at 11.30 at UE Center for Learning, um, for Language Learning. And of course, you're asking the public to come check it out. Absolutely, come. You have to come and Tickets watch it. Tickets are $25. Mm -hmm. Tickets. Tickets are just $25. Uh -huh. Tickets are $25. Do you have a, like a contact number where, like, let's say someone... Yes, I do have someone that will give us all of that information. Um, what's that? What's that number again? While she, you know, looks for bit, it. She's a bit shy. She's a. She's a.